All right, welcome. Now today we're going to be doing the January 2015 paper. Um, the paper looks a little bit different, not like how CXC published it, and that's because some editing was done to the paper. Now, in 2015, as we know it, we had to do eight questions in section one and choose two out of three from section two. So let's get it. It says using a calculator or otherwise calculate the exact value of 12.8 square minus 30 divided by 0 0.75. All right, so the first thing is always work out the bracket first. So 12.8 square is what? 12.8 square is 163.84. And then you're gonna be subtracting whatever is 30 divided by 0 0.35. So 30 divided by 0 0.375, that's going to give us 80. So we have 163.84, and it is, and then we're subtracting 80. And so then the final answer is 163.84 minus 80, that's 83.84. Nice and easy. And that's the first part. That gives you a whole of three marks. Nice and easy. Let's go to part B. Part B says, Mark spends three out of eight of his monthly income on housing. Of the remainder, he spends one, three on food and saves what is left. It says, calculate the fraction of his monthly income spent on food and calculate the fraction of his monthly income that is saved, all right? Now remember it says he spends three out of eight on housing. So that means he has five out of eight remaining. Out of a whole, he has five out of eight remaining, all right? So he has five So he has five out of eight remaining. All right, so if Mark spends three eight of his monthly income on housing, he has five eight remaining. And of this five eight of his money remaining, he spends one third on food. So he spends one third of this. So you have to multiply five over eight times one over three. And that will give you the amount of money that he spends on food. So when you multiply them across five times one is five and eight times three <coughs> is 24. And so Mark spends five over 24 of his money on food. That's the fraction that he spends on food, all right? So this is part I, let me just put I right here. Then it says calculate the fraction of his monthly income that he saved. Now the money that he saved is gonna be equal to one minus the amount that he spends on housing plus the money that he spends on food. All right, so Mark is a very smart man. He doesn't have any other expenses but just food and his housing, which is very good on Mark. So the savings, is equal to one minus how much money he spent on housing, which is three over eight, plus how much money he spends on food, which is five over 24. So when you add five over 24 and three over eight, what we're getting is five over 24 plus three over eight, is seven over 12 and one minus seven over 12 is five over 12, all right? So that's his savings, five over 12, 
All right. So roughly, he saves roughly about 40% of his money. Roughly 40% of his money he saves, which is not bad. That's very good. You always want to save somewhere close to 50% of your money. That's always good. All right. Now, the second part of the question says uh, a bank A uses one US dollar, and uh, one US dollar is 1.96 Barbadian dollar. It says calculate what is the value of 700 US dollar. All right. And this is at bank A. All right, that's at bank A. So different banks have different exchange rates. All right, so realize that one USD, let's make it in capital, one USD One USD is equal to 1.96 BD, all right? And so what that means is 700 USD is gonna be equal to 700 multiplied by the 1.96. And 700 times 1.96 is that's 1,372. So 1,372 Barbadian dollar. So let's put on our dollar sign to show that this is actually 1,000 BD1372 dollars. So that's part I, all right, this is part I. Nice, it says that bank B, the value of 700 US dollar is 1,382. Calculate the value of one USD at this bank. So let's find out. <coughs> so at bank B, at bank B, what we're seeing is that 700 USD is equal to 1,386 Barbadian dollars, all right? And so if we divide both sides by 700, we're gonna get one USD is then equal to 1,386 divided by 700. And then that will give us the value for one USD. So 1,386 divided by 700, That's 1.98. All right, so at bank B, so let's write it in a sentence. That is, <coughs> at bank B, one USD, let's put dollar sign, one USD is equal to, of course, 1.98. Barbadian dollars. Nice and easy. And that takes care of question one. No spice to question one at all. This is probably one of the most easiest question ones you'll ever see. All right, now part two. Part two says simplify the following. <clears throat> 